So I just pulled up here to Long and Canada's largest guitar store, and I just picked up the Fender, so I'll go home and test it out. So here's the box, and it says right here that it was from, came from the Fender warehouse straight to Long and McQuaid. Uh, I keep mentioning them. I'm not associated with them or favor them at all. Down here is some, some model information, serial, and whatnot. Talks about the store uh, that I picked it up from, and this is the box right here. While I'm here, I just want to take you guys over to what I have currently and why I even bought this one. So here is a Les Paul Special. Um, it's one of the cheapest ones you can buy. It's like 249 Canadian dollars. Here is a Squire Bullet. It's pretty much one of the cheapest bullets uh, Squires you can buy. Uh, Strats. And you can see that I got it in the same sort of finish that Albert Hammond Jr. has. And then here is the first guitar that I bought, which is a Squire Affinity. One of the better uh, Squires that are there. Also a Strat. There's nothing particularly about the Strat that I like. It's just, um, it's just a classic thing in my mind ever since I was a kid. The Les Paul I only have because it's actually a rental. You can see right there. So it goes back to uh, the store. So this is actually my first uh, purchase, uh, actual guitar. When I say actual, I mean these are guitars. Just this is a, a full blown Fender uh, Strat, and this happens to be the Albert Hammond Jr. signature. So let's kind of get right into it. Alright then, I apologize for this. I'm gonna take it out and put it on top. And here it is. So we have the 70s headstock, Fender Stratocaster, Fender Strat. So prep to this guy. Looks like Alberto, assembly by Maddie, tuned by, I don't know who, the Made in Mexico uh, guitar. So let's turn this around just to get that detail in there as well. Here's ABJ's signature. Okay. So there's that rosewood. Here's that three bolt in the back. Tremolo uh, bridge, and there definitely is no tremolo included. Checked. That custom switching. Oh, these feel so much nicer than the uh, Squires. Uh, this feels more or less the same same piece um i love actually i love this finish it looks much nicer uh here um yeah and then there's supposed to be the single coil ceramic pickups uh it's interesting uh, at the time of this video i could be wrong um but i could not find an actual source that said that these are ceramics i watched the other two videos that are are on youtube that uh abj sort of shared um where he was talking about the guitar and he didn't actually say that these were ceramic he kind of beat around that and said he tried to make it sound as close as possible or Fender tried to at least and that his um, reissue it does have the ceramics that were glued in by the previous owner so I don't know if these are actually ceramic and to be honest because of my lack of experience playing I won't even know um, but I'll, I'll get that taken a look at So here is the Albert Hammer Jr. Fender Strat, and then here is the Squire Bullet Strat in Olympic White. You can see the color difference between the two. You might be asking why I purchased this guitar, not just an American Standard or something else for cheaper. It's because Albert Hammer Jr. has its impact on my life through the strokes. Um, even though his independent work uh, is still active and going, there's a Francis Trouble pick that comes with it. Um, it's because of the strokes that I have this guitar. And the reason why I'm even in playing into playing guitars is that I wanted to mimic uh, what what their song sounded like, um, and that's why you can see the Gibson Lightning Bolt strap here, um, hence the signature, even this one before it, uh, etc. Uh, I just am looking for the Epiphone Riviera uh, with the 90, the P94 uh, pickups, 
that Nick Valencia uses, his edition, which I don't think will be reissued, but fingers crossed here, I can get my hands on one. That's why I have it. Just always question for yourself. You know, I read the comments saying that it looks like they're just giving everybody a signature, and that may, may very well be true. But the reason why they're doing that is because those specific musicians have an impact uh, that may be more than you might think yourself. Um, and to me, this is this this is the most impactful band. I think all those guys on that band just don't realize that the effect they had uh, on the on the New York music scene where I grew up, but also. Um, a rock in general so uh, that's why I have it here I'm very happy with this purchase I don't think I'll be thinking much more about me spending a lot more money to get this one versus the regular one very happy that this is here and uh, I don't think I'll be leaving my collection anytime soon um, so hopefully you guys get yours if you ordered it or if you're considering this maybe you know tips you one way or another whichever way that you were hoping to go and uh, that's really it hopefully this was of some use